in the space of science and massive special experiences, the subject of what existed early on to the gigantic effect has mixed discussions and interested characters for a long time. This Goliath demand doesn't simply test how we could unravel the universe. It challenges the veritable farthest objectives of human information. In vision, standing at the edge of existence, inspecting the enormous shadowing and considering what lay there before our universe was envisioned. The event of the enormous detonation marked the start of history, space, and what we know. In any case, there was a moment sooner ahead of time. This might have at last been a state of nothingness, a quiet before the lofty gathering began. And if this is true, was it? Or maybe there was something seriously disturbing that existed before time itself. As we jump further into this solicitation, science takes us on an excursion past the universe's early phase into contemplations that challenge our care. Physicist Brian Cox, known for his obligation to the wonders of the universe, proposes that something stunning could have existed before the huge explosion. He moves us to reconsider our reasoning of the veritable world and existence. In this assessment, will explore the science, the hypothesis, and the shocking insider facts that could figure out what existed prior to all that. We'll investigate thoughts like genuine improvement, quantum changes, dark energy, and even multiverses. The responses we've covered may very well smother you, but they could likewise open new understandings of our situation in the universe. Plan to hop deep into a world beyond imagination and science, where the dim still breezes around the shadows, leaving researchers stunned and, at times, even steamed. We should look at what existed before the huge explosion and why these hypotheses challenge all that we anticipated we knew to see the value in what could have existed before the enormous detonation. We first need to take a gander at what the enormous detonation, in truth, was. The enormous detonation, as science describes it, alludes to the event when the universe turned out to be remarkably hot and thick growing quickly to set off the arrangement of all matter, energy, and unfathomable powers. When we look toward the night sky, we see proof of this hot starting with the framework fanning out from a starting point. In any event, what reason did this happen? Or was there a time before this thick, hot beginning? As shown by the hypothesis of infinite expansion, there was beyond a shadow of a doubt a preceding, and it was off by a wide margin, void, or calm. Infinite expansion suggests that, previously the enormous detonation, the universe was in a state that was cold, empty, and free, generally like an awe-inspiring vacuum. In any event, the vacuum wasn't totally unfilled. It contained a colossal sum of energy that controlled the quick augmentation of room itself. This development, called expansion, occurred so quickly that it for the most part settled the justification for all that would go on in a piece of an ongoing space. It extended at extraordinary rates until the expansion dialed back, and the energy changed into issue particles and the powers we think about the huge explosion. However, what was the nature of this energy? For what reason did it, from nowhere, encourage the universe? And for what reason did it stop? Researchers accept that this vast extension made patches of the universe, each encountering its own enormous detonation. Imagine a texture extending perpetually with tiny air bubbles forming. Each bubble represents a new universe, including our own. This thought, called the inflationary multiverse, proposes that there are possibly unimaginable large bangs and an unfathomable number of universes. Our own is only one of many. This gigantic, brain-bending reality challenges how we could interpret the very universe itself and leaves us with the question, what else is out there? The concept of nothingness before the huge bang is hypothetical, not proven. Anyway, as indicated by our ongoing comprehension, regardless of whether you kill all energy, particles, and radiation from the universe, it would still not be entirely void. Our universe is finished off with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and different forces that weave a specific magnum opus of something, even in its most unfilled design. Whether or not we creatively strip away these forces, leaving a dead space, the universe would still make new sorts of energy. This, in itself, is a puzzling truth for researchers, as it proposes that real nothingness might be impossible within our vast understanding. Space itself has properties, rules, and constants that keep it from being totally unfilled. Imagine making a region with literally nothing in it. 
no particles, no radiation and negative energy, aside from quantum fields and enormous constants. These would still exist, proposing that this nothingness has properties. For example, there's an idea called zero-point energy, which represents the most incredible energy condition of quantum fields. In this state, particles can still appear and dissipate, making a terrifying reverberation of progress even in what ought to be void space. This challenges what we would call a genuine void and proposes that, indeed, even before the enormous detonation, there was something. Examiners are still starting to see the value in this, possibly one of the most amazing hypotheses in current cosmology. The possibility of undying improvement. If expansion could create our universe, it's conceivable it could go on indefinitely. Brian Cox describes a remarkably giant inflationary multiverse, where universes are inconceivably made and extended. Imagine each enormous detonation as a flash lighting another universe, while expansion occurs in various locales, creating countless other universes. This cycle could, in theory, occur perpetually. This thought of titanic universes siring others leads to a captivating idea about a fractal universe, where each new universe may, in fact, create its own enormous detonation. Each universe exists as an alternate, free space, unaffected by the others. Considering the rapid development of room, for scientists, this theory is both thrilling and disturbing, as it suggests a relentless multiverse with no clear start or end. Imagine our universe being only a smidgen in a giant, unfathomable arrangement, constantly creating and continually making new universes. And imagine if that's the real essence of reality. There is no previously or later, but instead an undying pattern of universes forming. How we could decipher nothingness changes when we consider quantum field theory. As shown by this theory, the universe isn't simply a blend of matter floating in space. Maybe it's a convoluted association of energy processes that fill the universe, connecting to make everything. That we notice these fields are like immaterial oceans, with particles going about as waves or unsettling influences. In any event, when fields are at their least energy level, known as the vacuum state, they are still dynamic. Particles can show up and dissipate in these fields immediately, getting energy prior to bringing it back. This characteristic prompts virtual particles, substances that right away exist and then disappear, leaving just a faint memory of their presence. The concept of virtual particles challenges the believability of a genuine void. Imagine an unfilled universe where all matter, radiation, and energy are eliminated or moved. Would you have, in fact, nothing? According to quantum field theory, you wouldn't. Indeed, even in a vacuum, fields would remain dynamic, sometimes making transient particles. This consistent improvement in what ought to be nothing suggests that the universe doesn't keep our idea of void. The fields and forces persevere, filling the universe with private energy that prevents absolute nothingness. This grasping raises an intriguing question. If fields make particles and particles make matter, might the genuine universe have emerged from this nothingness, filled up with quantum fields? Dark energy is an odd force that currently drives the accelerated development of our universe. Anyway, did dark energy exist before the Big Bang? As indicated by some viewpoints, the fact that dark energy exists today is an eventual outcome of an energy field from before our universe's development. The properties of dark energy appear to propose a monstrous, mysterious force that could have existed in some form before the Big Bang. Some theories suggest that dark energy in a much stronger state, could have controlled the inflationary stage, causing rapid expansion. The presence of dark energy suggests that whether our universe were exhausted of all matter and radiation, this force would continue to foster the outer layer of space-time. This thought prompts a disturbing question. If dark energy was present before the Big Bang, might it at some point have ultimately framed the conditions that led to the introduction of our universe? Might dark energy at some point be the calm modeler of expansion, or even the valid start of our universe? As we examine this possibility, we face the potential of dark energy not only as a force forming our universe, but also as a key that could open the secrets of the multiverse itself. Another hypothesis is that cyclic cosmology offers another option to the Big Bang as a conclusive starting point. 
This hypothesis proposes that the universe goes through gigantic patterns of birth, death, and restoration. In this model, the Big Bang is not a one-time event, but may be part of an undying cycle where universes form, dissipate, and then recover in another cycle. This hypothesis suggests that our universe could have been restored from the remnants of a past universe. The process of contraction and expansion in a cyclic pattern would imply that there was never a valid starting point, but rather an eternal series of universes arising, creating, and restoring themselves again and again. Cyclic cosmology raises significant issues. No time like the present, as it suggests that time itself could repeat rather than continue. If this hypothesis is correct, it could imply that what existed before the Big Bang was simply another form of the universe, one that fell exclusively to bring forth our current universe. For researchers, this hypothesis offers a rich response to the subject of extreme beginnings, suggesting that there is no clear starting point. The universe has always existed in some form, transcending our conceptions of time and existence. Gravitational waves are another fascinating concept that could reveal insight into what existed before the Big Bang. These waves, found in 2015, are ripples in space-time caused by incredibly massive objects like black holes or impacting neutron stars. These waves can travel significant distances, carrying information about the events that created them. Could gravitational waves give information about the introduction of the universe? A few physicists propose that gravitational waves coming from the time before the Big Bang might provide understanding into the condition of the universe before expansion began. Gravitational waves from the early universe may leave hints that could help us comprehend whether the Big Bang was truly the starting point, or whether there were infinite events before that we don't yet appreciate. These waves could be traces left behind by events past our normal understanding. Their presence could also point to a larger structure beyond what we are familiar with. These weak signals could open pieces of information that could change our perspective, much like how we found the Big Bang start. Imagine if they show the remnants of a past universe or an event that occurred prior to the Big Bang. As scientists continue to investigate the deep reaches of space, the question remains, what existed prior to the Big Bang? With current hypotheses highlighting quantum mechanics, multiverses, and infinite expansion, it seems we are closer than ever to unveiling the deep secrets of the universe's origins. While the complete answer remains elusive, our understanding of what existed before the Big Bang continues to evolve with each new discovery. As we explore these speculations, we can also consider how they may fit together to reveal the broader picture, the true essence of existence itself. Yet, until that point, we are left with the mystery driving science and wandering into unknown realms far beyond what we have yet known. As we keep exploring the question of what existed before the Big Bang, time itself becomes increasingly difficult to grasp. Time, as we understand it, began with the Big Bang, making the concept of before it somewhat perplexing. If time itself didn't exist prior to the Big Bang, can we even discuss something existing before it? Some hypotheses suggest that time may not have a clear starting point, and our understanding of it may be limited by the current framework of physics. One of the fascinating aspects of these hypotheses is that they open up the possibility of new laws of physics, ones that are not yet discovered or even conceivable within our current understanding. If the universe, as we know it, began with the Big Bang, and before that, there was a state of nothingness, or vast expansion, then what governs the forces and particles in that pre-Big Bang state? Might there be a fundamental layer of reality that transcends time and space, where the standard laws of physics break down completely? This otherworldly layer would challenge everything we grasp about the universe but it could hold the answers to some of the most profound questions. Some scientists have speculated that the start of the universe may not have been a particular event, but rather could be the result of the interaction of higher dimensional forces. According to string theory, for example, the key building blocks of matter are not point-like particles, but perhaps one-dimensional strings vibrating at different frequencies. These strings could exist in higher dimensional spaces beyond the three-dimensional space we can observe. If this theory holds any truth, then our universe could be simply one slice of a higher dimensional space that intersects with others, forming the multiverse. In this scenario, the Big Bang could represent the intersection of these dimensions, with a continuous cycle of universes being created and destroyed in higher dimensions. Additionally, 
Theories like the exotic model suggest that our universe might have come about due to a collision between two higher dimensional brains, layers of space-time that exist in multiple dimensions. These impacts, if they occurred, could have triggered a Big Bang-like event, starting a new cycle of expansion and contraction. Such models offer a framework for understanding the origins of the universe that doesn't rely on a conventional singular starting point, but instead presents a scenario of constant resurrection through infinite events. This idea challenges our conventional thinking about the beginning of the universe and opens up possibilities for how it may evolve in the future. There are also intriguing connections between these cosmological hypotheses and philosophical inquiries about the nature of existence itself. If time, space, and matter have always existed in some form, does this suggest an eternal and constant reality beyond our perception? Or are we in the midst of an endless cycle of creation, evolution, and destruction? Some have even suggested that the answers to these questions lie outside the realm of science entirely and may only be fully understood through spiritual or even mystical inquiry. This suggests that the limits of human understanding might not only be about technological advancements in physics, but also about the profound, existential nature of reality itself. In the end, while we may never fully answer the question of what existed before the Big Bang, the theories and ideas surrounding it offer a rich tapestry of possibilities. As our understanding of quantum mechanics, dark energy, and cosmology continues to develop, we may inch closer to uncovering the true essence of existence, time, and the universe itself. Whether or not the answer is grounded in scientific theory or something entirely beyond our comprehension, the mystery of what preceded the Big Bang continues to fascinate and inspire humanity's quest for knowledge.